Buddha gave for different kinds of people uh, different levels of advice. For the people who wanted to get out of trouble, he gave the monks uh, promises, the monks and nuns promises, you know, which cut us away from all kinds of sources of disturbance. For those who wanted to have a rich inner life, he gave the so-called Bodhisattva promises, which uh, involve us with others, you know, and makes us part of a totality. And for the yogis, he gave the highest view, the view of seeing everything as mind's free play and seeing everybody as a Buddha who hasn't recognized it yet. So the middle, the central part, the six liberating actions, is that which both gives meaning upwards, so that all the things we do are really great and beneficial, and also downwards, so we don't just do things, avoid things to avoid our own trouble, but also to be good examples. So these six actions consist first of generosity, that's how we open up to others, body, speech, and mind, we do what we can. After this then comes meaningful behavior using body, speech, and mind and for the benefit of others and ourselves. Then comes patience, that we don't blow our top, you know, and we don't get make dramas and destroy the good impressions made. Then after that, diligence, you know, using the forward position we have, you know, getting the power in, winning the war now that we have a chance, right, pushing with everything we have. Then after that again comes meditation. And why is meditation so important? Well, because it gives us distance. It makes us able to choose to get more into the comedies, avoid the tragedies of life, it gives us a chance to do a lot of meaningful things. After that again we have then wisdom, and again wisdom here is wisdom about mind, ultimate wisdom, wisdom about the emptiness of all things, that, well, analytically that there's nothing there which ultimately exists, then on the next level, you know, making a step on from there, then actually saying that that nothing exists, you know, then going on from there and actually saying that, uh, well, that something is there which is aware of what's going on, which is really important for people who have a, a richer inner life. And finally then, understanding that that space which is between and behind all things, which is looking through our eyes, listening through our ears right now, that this space in its essence is highest joy that there is no greater joy than that, that the radiance of the mirror is more fantastic than any picture, that the depth of the ocean is more meaningful than any wave that can come and go. This is really, the, this is really what it's all about, knowing that which is aware right now.